for another story, Dad? Yes, it's that time again. Pop into bed and I'll tell you the story. Ready, Dad. Do you know the story of St. Anthony the Great, father of monks? What's a monk? A monk is a person who chooses to live alone, to be with God, their entire life. That sounds very hard, to be all alone all the time. Well, they were never really alone. God was always among them. St. Anthony's life is a beautiful story about sacrifice and prayer. In the year 251 AD, St. Anthony was born in a rich family in Egypt who loved God and the church. When Anthony was 20 years old, both of his parents passed away and he was to take care of his little sister. He went into the church one day and heard the gospel being read. If you want to be perfect, go sell what you have and give to the poor. Wow, this must be a message to me from God. My dear sister, I want to give away everything I own to the poor and live with God. That sounds really nice, Anthony. I want to live a life like that too. I will take you to live with other girls who live a life of prayers and help to the poor. I will now go into the desert and pray to become close with God, away from all the noise of the city. After some time alone, St. Anthony was beginning to be tempted by the devil. Why stay here? Isn't it so boring? Aren't you getting hungry? What's the point? Go away, you wicked thoughts. The Lord will protect me from your attacks. Anthony went and found a cave to live in. Then one day, an angel appeared to him. Come out of your cave and see. St. Anthony saw the angel of the Lord and saw the clothes that he was wearing. What are you wearing? And what are you doing with those leaves? I am braiding them to make a basket. And what is this cross around your neck? This cross will help you to always remember the Lord. And this cover on your head, it has six crosses on each side. What are they for? These crosses will remind you to live simply and protect your thoughts. Anthony did exactly that, and he was never bored again. Years later, another angel appeared to him. Anthony, there is another man who dwells in the wilderness. By his prayers, the Lord brings rain to fall on the earth. With God as my guide, I will find this man. St. Anthony found St. Paul after a day's walk. They sat and talked about the greatness of God. Tell me your story and how you came to this place. I have one brother. His name is Peter and our father was a very rich man. One day our father died, and he left all his money for me and my brother. Paul, you are still young. I cannot give you all this money, or else you will waste it. But this is not fair. The money is mine. Okay, let's go to the judge, and he will divide the money on us. On the way to the judge, we saw a funeral of a very rich man who died and left all his wealth. I then thought I would better care about my eternal life rather than caring about money. And that's why you left everything and came to live with God here. True, Anthony. And this was my best decision. Oh, what is this raven that is flying towards us with a loaf of bread in its mouth? For the last 80 years, the Lord every day sends to me half a loaf to eat. But today, he is sending us this whole loaf to feed both of us. You are a blessed man, Paul. You are the first hermit. God bless you, Anthony. Please go now and bring me back the tunic of Saint Athanasius. As you wish, my brother. After Anthony returned to him, he saw St. Paul's spirit being lifted by angels. Paul must have wanted me to bury his body in this tunic, but I cannot dig into the ground alone. Then all of a sudden, two lions approached Anthony. Then they bowed their heads in front of St. Paul's body. These lions, they don't attack me. They must be sent from God to help me bury my brother Paul. The lions dug a grave in the ground. Then Anthony placed the body of St. Paul in the new tunic inside it and covered it. My brothers, I am now 105 years old and my time is coming near its end. 
keep the commandments of our Lord and love one another. Pray for me. St. Anthony then gave up his spirit. He was the first monk and he taught other people how to be monks too. And that's why we call him the father of monks. That was an amazing story, Dad. I love that he did not care about the worldly needs and that he served God for all his life. True, Lavinia, St. Anthony also left for us lots of teachings and we continue to learn from them even now. May the blessings of St. Anthony and St. Paul be with us all. Amen. Good night, Dad. I can't wait for tomorrow's story. Good night, my dear.